Hi, I'm Conrad. And I'm Mariana. And today we're going to show you a mechanism known as a dehydrohalogenation. It's an E2 mechanism. Now to perform a dehydrohalogenation, it requires a strong base. Such as potassium hydroxide. Let's see that mechanism in action. First what happens is the hydroxide, the electrons on the oxygen, come into the adjacent carbon and they remove a hydrogen causing then these electrons to form a double bond or an alkene. Then the bromine acts as the leaving group. Let's see that one more time in the dark as Mariana shuts off the lights for us. So what we have is we have this bond and this hydrogen one more time. We have again the hydroxide that comes in and removes a hydrogen and takes it with it. Then these electrons move towards a more stable place, forming a double bond, also known as an alkene. Then the bromine leaves. And there we have our dehydrohalogenation product. However, this is our major group, and to get a better structural picture, I'll remove these bonds and hydrogens. We'll see that this is our major structure, which is more stable, and this is our minor structure. Thank you as you've joined us in our dehydro halogenation reaction.